Psalms chapter 11 and verse 3 says, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Can a car drive without wheels? Can a man walk without legs? Can a plane fly without wings? What if you remove just one wheel or one leg or one wing? The result would be crippling to the car, the plane, or the person who rely on these foundations. The time to decide how many wheels a car must have is not while one is driving down the highway. Wouldn't you agree? And yet, here is where Satan seeks to gain victories and ensure defeat. He leads us to doubt God's leading in our past. We explain away or forget the many answered prayers, the miracles and providences of God which have blessed us without past experiences to point us to God in the present, we are left as a three-wheeled car or a one-wing airplane to navigate without foundations. Another way Satan seeks to remove the wheels from our spiritual experience is when he can lead us to, to see scripture, doctrines, the gospel, and the law of God as all relative. If the Bible is no longer an authority in our lives, if the law does not define sin, if Jesus Christ and the gospel are no longer the only way to be saved, and if the Bible doctrines no longer matter, we've lost our foundations. Like a plane without wings, we are destined to follow the broad road to destruction. Ellen White once said, our only safety is in preserving the ancient landmarks. That's from Councils on Health, page 459. What are these landmarks? These sure foundations? Well, our personal experiences uh, with the Lord are one. Our clear understanding of Bible truth and doctrine is another. God's call to be witnesses for Him is a third. Friends, don't let the enemy lead you from these solid pillars that keep you on the road to heaven. What are the landmarks in your life? Uh, answered prayers, God's providence, scriptural truth you've learned. All of these landmarks guide your spiritual experience today. So friends, I pray for you that you would not let go of those landmarks which God has placed in your life. For if the foundations be destroyed, what will the righteous do?